Okay, so Dr. Buford here. We're just getting started on the left shoulder. We're looking in from the back to the front. Everything you see is magnified 30 or 40 times on the screen. We've got this blue cannula coming in on the left of the biceps tendon. Here's your biceps, and here's, here's the tear. Okay? So this is definitely what we call a slap lesion. Um, even without doing much with the cannula, we can see how that's loose. See how that lifts up there, and we can see underneath it. And so this meets all the criteria. Hold that, please. Let me see that switching sticker. Give me the crochet hook, even better. This meets all the criteria for diagnosis for a slap lesion. We can use this as a probe and just further demonstrate. See that? So that's what bothers you, and that's what hurts. And we're going to do a biceps tenodesis for you. But that is what a slap lesion, a type 2 slap lesion in particular, looks like. The actual tendon itself doesn't look torn. That looks okay, but as we look down at the insertion into the labrum and into the glenoid here, this is loose. See how that's split and torn. Okay, so we'll get to work here. We'll take a spinal needle first, and this is going to be our initial pass through the biceps just so we can secure it. And there you can see how we get right through the tendon there. And we're going to pass a black wire called a super shuttle through that. And then this is what we're going to use to pass some suture. Pull the needle out. All the way. Uh-huh, all the way. And now we're going to load that wire with a stitch. Okay, so there's the first pass through. Now we're going to do the same thing one more time. And we can go right next to it. You'll see why in a minute. But there's our second pass. We're going to take the same black wire. Hold the camera here. Okay, so here's the difference here. I'm not going to bring that wire directly out. I'm actually going to sneak around behind the biceps. See how we go around the biceps? And now we'll get that wire. And that's going to give us a much stronger stitch. Hold the camera there. Pause. Okay, so here you can see we've got that suture let me take it. Going all the way around the tin, I just wanted to show you. See how it goes around the back? And then it goes out the, the front. And then on the front side, you can see it there. So that gives us a strip or a, a, a loop of suture all the way around the tendon. So now we can release it here. Okay, and so now the biceps is released. We still have that suture holding it. Okay, you can see... We're still able to control it. Hold the camera there. And so now we're going to go ahead and clean up the rest of the labrum here because you can see now how frayed that is. Pause. Okay, so now we've trimmed back the labrum. That looks 100% better to me. Nothing loose. Rotator cuff on this articular side at the top of the screen. That's your supraspinatus tendon, and that looks great. Now we're going to stop here and go above the tendon where we'll uh, inspect the tendon from the bursal side. We'll do any bone work, like a decompression, and then we'll fix the biceps. Okay, so we've discovered a tear in the rotator cuff here. It's right next to where the bicep sutures are, which is the most common place for this to happen. So you really had a bursal-sided tear. And we're going to place one rotator cuff anchor down here.
Okay, so we'll get that done and show you some more in a minute. Okay, so we've got our biceps tenodesis done with an anchor right there. We've got our rotator cuff repair with three sutures right there. Give me that punch. I'm going to make a couple little holes in the greater tuberosity to try and take advantage of a little more healing. But this will be the end of the video. We're all done now. We'll take the two millimeter punch and a mallet. So there's one little bone marrow vent, and then look to the right a little bit. And there's another one. Okay, and as you turn down the pressure, you'll see the bone marrow start to come out of those little tunnels. It looks going to look kind of like yellow droplets. There they go there, so that looks great. So good luck to you now. Bye-bye.